Tonight, the Wendy's where Rayshard Brooks was fatally shot has been ground zero for protesters, and today all that is left is a burned out shell. CBS 46 team coverage begins now with more and a look into the arson investigation. Bo Beth Yates has a look at that for us. Bo Beth. Well, Rick and Sean, police may not have been able to get here in time to stop the fire, but they said they're not going to let the person who was responsible get away. Right now, they have a $10,000 reward out for any information leading up to the arrest for the person involved in that. And you can see this. Take a look at this video. This is the person they're asking people to come forward and figure out who it is. They're trying to figure out who is responsible. This is the picture of that person. They also released this video of the person um, that appears to be lighting or throwing lighter fluid in that to make that fire a little bit more intense. But to be honest, protesters here were not concerned with that building. They say it was more of an insult, the fact that we were even concerned about it because a loss of life happened in that parking lot. And I'm joined right now by Mr. Brooks. Can I talk to you? This is Mr. Jeffrey Brooks. He's a cousin of Rayshard. Tell me, how do you feel about all this going on? Right now, everything that's going on is ridiculous because at the end of the day, I was telling a lot of people that we got to sit up here and do this, this protest in a peaceful manner. Only way that we're going to be able to get any kind of results is do it in a peaceful manner. We just had an incident where a guy, I don't know why, he just wanted to fire a gun up in the air. That guns is not the answer. Guns is not the answer, and that's what I want everybody to understand. We got issues going all over this state, all over this country. This right here was senseless. It don't need to happen again. And in order for it not to happen again, we need to stay together in a peaceful protest. And I'm imagining your family is just reeling from this. You guys had a birthday in the midst of all of this. And then, you know, to he be had a yes. And my thing is that was going to be the hurtful part, because with the birthdays come back around next year, it's going to bring back bad memories. But let's take something positive out of all this negative. You see what I'm saying? Let's take it something positive out of it and ask for change. Fight for change in a peaceful way. We got issues that's going on all, like even in my hometown of Washington County, three deputies down there killed Yuri Lee Martin. Mm -hmm. Love Joy Police in Clayton County just threatened to shoot my wife. You see what I'm saying? So I'm you just want to, here. you're trying to find that bigger solution to I'm this problem. I'm trying to find that bigger solution because it's just not in Atlanta. It's just not in Clayton County. It's just not in right. Washington County. All right. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for speaking to me, and I'll have more details coming up, and you know we'll send it back to you guys now in the studio. All right, Bo Beth Yates for us there. Powerful, peaceful message of change. Bo thank Beth, you. thank you.